I think that consideration makes a good leader. Like consideration, like you're not only considerate of others, but you're also considerate for yourself because for for somebody who's passionate about something, it's very easy to just start doing something with no considering no with no consideration of are you prepared to do this and make this commitment? And um, also like consideration of others because it's hard to be a proper leader when you're very single minded and you don't you don't have different perspectives to add to your experience. So I really think consideration is uh, what makes a leader. I feel like the greatest leaders are the greatest servants because as a leader it's not the main goal is not to show that you have power and to dominate over other people. It's to make sure that your constituents or the people that you're leading over um, are properly taken care of and they have the proper guidance and uh, leadership that you would want someone to lead over for yourself. So consideration and like caring and being able to like serve your people, I feel like that's what makes a good leader. All right, and I think that a part of being a great leader is like not having that conscious thought, I am a leader. Like it's like, I find it very interesting where um, when like in school we're put in, we're put in like little groups and it's this one person who excels and the others just follow, and that one person always like, I'm the leader of the group. I, th I don't think that person who excels is the leader of the group when they have that, when they can say, oh, I'm the leader of the group, because a leader is just a regular person. It's just a person who's part of the masses, but who knows, who knows um, how to be considerate of others, who knows how to serve others, and who knows how to do for others and themselves. I feel like then humility would be a part of leadership because you don't want to boast about your great skills because then nobody would like you and no one wants you to lead them. I feel like a leader is chosen and uh, by the people. So obviously, uh, if you're gonna be people served, you need to be humble because no one chose you as a leader to be controlling and to be mean and ruthless or you know, other things. That's why um, history told us from all these past like uh, dictators and stuff, like they did not like excel like long term because like now people are starting like democracies and stuff. And we see in other countries where um, communism is a thing where there's one single leader telling everybody one thing to do. Um, they don't excel as much as where the people get to choose, who, you know, who lead, who gets to lead them and stuff like that. So. Well, I feel a little. I feel a little differently. I don't feel like a leader is chosen. I feel like everybody is a leader, just in their own respects of how people view them as a leader. So I think everybody has a great potential to be a great leader, just in their own way. I mean, that is true. Everyone might have leadership qualities, but I don't feel like everybody is called to be a leader. Because if everybody was a leader, then who would be following who? Well, the, I feel like I feel like that in from your perspective, there you're kind of forcing people to be followers. You're lab, you're labeling people as followers. So then you're kind of creating this divide between like leaders and followers. And like I see in in that I see the I see the potential for like this kind of meritocracy where it's like you have to be a leader. You have to follow these set qualities of these great people. And I don't feel like leaders should fall into that. Well, not necessarily. Um, being a follower doesn't necessarily put you in, in a lower um, category than the person who leads. Because like, when you go to work, you have a boss, someone who is in charge. That person that's the boss does not necessarily have to be the big bad guy. Like They're in charge. Like there has to be someone put in charge so that there's order um, and people, you know, there are roles that you have to follow. So like leadership, I feel like um, creates order because if there's not an order in society, then there's going to be chaos as we've learned from history. So um, being a follower doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a say in anything. It just means that, you know, there's someone that you answer to that you look, you know, to for direction and guidance and stuff like that. Even the leaders have leaders.